This video is brought to you by WeGotSoccer.com, offering all the latest soccer gear at everyday low prices. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order, plus free shipping within the U.S. on any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing of the brand new Warrior Screamer Match Ball. This is the first takedown model in Warrior's brand new line of soccer balls with a retail price of $80 US. And like I said, it's the first takedown model. So the one step above it is called the Warrior Screamer Pro, which I'm hoping to have in very, very shortly to do a performance review on. And that ball retails at $150 US, just like all the other top end match balls currently out there on the market from some of the other bigger brands. As far as Warrior as a company goes, for those of you that aren't familiar with them, they kind of new to the soccer world just as of this year. They jumped in as the major kit supplier for Liverpool Football Club, for those of you that don't know already. And uh, since then have launched a whole equipment line with a Warrior Screamer line of soccer shoes that are actually pretty interesting and pretty good in my opinion. I'll leave some annotations on screen to some of those videos if you are at all interested in seeing some of their other products. But they've recently launched their equipment line as well full of soccer balls, shin guards, apparel, all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm hoping to get a bunch of that stuff in very, very shortly to show you guys because from what I've seen so far, it's very, very nice. Um, one thing to take note of about Warrior and their soccer balls here is that I realize that they're a brand new company and uh, it's kind of taking a chance when you're buying something from a brand new company. But when it comes to their soccer balls, Warrior as a company is under the same owners group as Brine. And Brine, for those of you that know, they produce some very high quality soccer balls and have been doing so for a long, long time. So it hasn't been confirmed, I don't know this for sure, but the likelihood of Brine being involved in the development of this particular Warrior soccer ball, as, a, as well as their entire line, is very, very likely. So you're, um, from what I can tell anyways, the ball feels very high quality and you're more than likely getting a pretty good ball given that Brian was potentially involved in the development of this particular product. As far as the, ball, as the ball itself is concerned, it is really nice in hand. Um, for $80, it feels like you're getting your money's worth. It is really, really nice, actually. I'm pretty picky when it comes to soccer balls, but this one, like I said, feels really good in hand. Um, it is FIFA approved, as you guys can see here. And this is the high visibility colorway, for those of you that wanted to know. Um, it's a very bright yellow, and it kind of has this very unique pattern on it, kind of like a marbling pattern. Changes in the light, really unique. Similar to what you're going to find on, like... Um, Maybe the Select uh, Brilliant Super, for those of you that are familiar with that ball. Kind of that same detail on the actual finish of the ball. And then, of course, you have these kind of like graffiti pinstriped flames looking graphics on there. Really does look cool in the orange and blue. And then you have these little circular panels with the Warrior logo there with these little blue dots going around. And then, of course, you have the official name of the ball, the Warrior Screamer Match, like I told you earlier. As far as the panels on the ball go, it is somewhat unique. It's made up of 16 different panels that Warrior is calling the Superstructure Configuration. Um, it's very far away from like a traditional 32-panel uh, soccer ball, but from what I can tell, it feels really good. The ball is actually perfectly round, and it reminds me very much of the Adidas Jabalani, for those of you guys, guys that can remember that far back, or the Speed Cell. It was originally released for the 2010 World Cup, and like I said, the paneling on this really reminds me of that. It is only 16 panels, so the panels are fairly large. And what was interesting about the Jabulani that some people loved and some people hated is that it tended to bobble a lot. It didn't have a very predictable flight pattern. And I'm hoping that's not the case with the Warrior Ball. But again, we're going to see how it does perform once I get a chance to test it out. The weather has been horrible here, but I hope to make a video on this very, very shortly. As far as... Um, the actual ball itself is concerned. All of the panels are hand stitched together so there's no fuse on this ball at all which is something that I personally prefer over fused panels. Give you guys a quick look at the valve. Like I said everything on here just feels really really high quality. Nothing, uh, nothing feels out of place, nothing feels cheap and the construction of the ball just feels really really solid. The casing on here is made out of a Duxung PU material which uh, it's waterproof, it's a synthetic obviously like pretty much every other uh, modern soccer ball and uh, it has a little bit of padding to it but not very much at all. Reminds me very much of like the Tango 12 casing or even the brand new Kafuza casing. Those are the same ball of course um, but just a little bit thinner. So again it feels really nice, I'm excited to use this ball. I feel like it's going to perform well, it feels really nice in hand, it has a good weight to it and uh, for the most part I don't have too much to complain from right out of the box. It just feels really really nice. But that's pretty much it as far as this ball goes. Like I said it has a retail price of $80 US and I will have some buy it now links on this ball 
linked down below in the description if you want to go ahead and check out the review page on my website. You'll even find some SR4U coupon codes to get you guys some additional discounts if you are interested in ordering one of these for yourself. As far as any questions you guys have regarding this fall, feel free to leave a question down below in the comments. And if you guys could leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated as well. Um, if you guys would like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Josh, just like this account name. You can go ahead and look me up, or again, the link will be found down below in the description. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel already and you did enjoy today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for a daily videos on all the latest soccer gear, such as unboxings, comparisons, some reviews, even some play tests and free kicks, especially with these soccer balls. I want to do some kind of comparison stuff um, outdoors once the weather starts to clear up a little bit. So again, if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.